Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. On today's video, I want to talk about Threatentine on Minox deal, and if Threatentine can actually make Minox deal more effective, and I'm also going to present a case study for it. And for you guys who are on the channel for the first time, my name is Alex, and I'm previously a health sufferer who was able to reorder back my own here, and I'm also a certificate ecologist. So let's focus on today's video on Threatentine. And Threatentine is something that is used for acne treatment, and also for anti-aging treatment for, for example, wrinkles. And uh, it is something that one has to have a prescription for in most countries to actually get hold on it. Uh, but for example, if you are suffering from acne, then it shouldn't be that uh, difficult to get hold on it. And uh, Tretentine itself, it comes in different strengths. Like it has like a 0.025% strength, 0.05% and 0.1% strength. And uh, lately what has happened is that uh, someone who is a subscriber reached out to me to show his four weeks results of applying Tretentine on his scalp right before Minox deal. And uh, here is his four weeks results and you can see that there is uh, some growth activity on his temple. And uh, you can also see values here that are kind of spread around and uh, there is quite a lot of them. And then he also shared his six weeks results of doing this approach. And on six weeks mark, you can see that there is a lot more values here. They have become longer and they also look more healthy and stronger. So that basically means that he is on the right path of recovering his temples if he is doing it, uh, continues doing the approach. And I asked him a bit more information about his approach and he said that he is applying 0.1% uh, of threatening cream on his temples right before the application. And for him it is fine, he did see that, say that he has a bit redness on his temples after application, but that's all, he doesn't have any other problems and he plans to continue with this approach. And the thing with uh, Trentin is that it can be intense for the scalp and back in 2013 I did try Trentin myself for around two weeks on my scalp right before the application, but back then my scalp was not ready for it. So basically what happened is that I applied Trentin and I would get more redness, more itchiness, and there would also be more shedding. And after two weeks of testing it out, I decided that it was not the right approach for me uh, at that stage. But if the scalp doesn't have any problems, and one is not seeing results, for example, uh, minox deal, microneedling, then tretentine can be another option, because what tretentine does, it helps to absorb minox deal more effective, and it also helps to reactivate the follicles, right? So it has a kind of two functions to it. And in combination with minoxidil, it can actually work very well if one doesn't have any scalp problems. So this is an option for someone who uh, have a healthy scalp environment. And likely it is always best to start with a, like a lower strength of it to make sure the skin gets used to it and not jump on 0.1% right away, but actually take a time and start with a, a, a kind of uh, lower strength first, such, such as 0.025 or 0.5% to get used scalp for it. And uh, this is something that can actually work, as this case study shows. And uh, it is basically something that can be a valid option uh, for someone who had tried microneedling uh, over a longer time and it still hasn't been effective. Then adding, for example, Tretentin can be a good option, either in combination with microneedling uh, or a standalone with Minox deal. And for you guys who are uh, watching this video and are suffering heal loss and need guidance and help to solve it, you can schedule a call below this video. There's a link for it. Let's talk and see how you can address this skill loss problem once and for all and get a solution for it. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you next time. Cheers.